Here I'm going to lead you through the derivation for the kinetic energy as a function of time for an object thrown upwards experiencing free fall. We'll start with the equation for kinetic energy. The mass is constant, but the speed changes with time, so we'll need an equation for speed as a function of time. Here's the equation from one-dimensional motion. The final speed is what we're trying to substitute for. The initial speed is a constant, and the acceleration is g and downward, so we'll put a negative sign to indicate that down is the negative direction. And we'll tidy that up and insert it for the speed into our kinetic energy equation. Here we have a situation where the, uh, the, the, the expression inside the parentheses is squared, so anything squared is itself uh, times itself. And now we are left with, uh, with a multiplication of binomials. And you may remember the, uh, the acronym to, uh, to, to remember the steps here. Here we are going to FOIL. So uh, first we're going to multiply the first terms. So VI times VI. Then we'll uh, multiply the outer terms, so VI times negative GT. Now we'll do our inner terms, that's negative GT times VI. And now we'll multiply out the last terms, that's negative GT times negative GT. And now we can just, uh, we can simplify some of this. So VI times VI is VI squared. Then you'll notice we have VI times negative GT. We have that twice, so that'll be 2 times VI GT with a negative sign. And then last we have uh, negative GT times negative GT. The negatives cancel, and we're left with G squared times T squared. And now it should be pretty obvious that kinetic energy is going to be a quadratic equation uh, as a function of time. That's because we have a t squared term. That makes it quadratic. When we have a quadratic equation, it can be useful to, uh, to analyze the coefficients. And so uh, we'll tidy this up just a little bit more by distributing the 1 half m to everything inside the parentheses. So that's what we end up with there, multiplying 1 half m to all the uh, terms inside the uh, parentheses, and then we can just tidy it up a little bit more. And what we have left here is a quadratic equation. The coefficient of t squared is what we refer to as a. The coefficient of the first order t is what we refer to as b. And C is the, uh, the constant that doesn't have a, a, any uh, term T in there, or variable T. And it should be, uh, it should be noted that 1 half MV initial squared, that is just the initial kinetic energy.